I should say that um, after attempting to generate additional pressure within the Pentagon, it still wasn't producing any results. So what I did was I drafted a personal memorandum in which I um, analyzed the initial Guantanamo request for authorization for these, uh, for these techniques. And then a few pages, um, I came to the conclusion that uh, these techniques, if applied, um, would at a minimum constitute uh, cruel and human and degrading treatment and could lead to torture. I went to a, a number of individuals who were political appointees, who were personal advisors to, um, to Secretary Rumsfeld, always with the same message. These interrogation techniques had been approved, they were unlawful, uh, contrary to our values, could lead to liability on the part of individuals, contrary to our national interests, contrary to the military ethics, potentially politically uh, uh, controversial or worse. Um, there were a series of reasons why that decision were simply not in anybody's best interest. They needed to know about it. I made an effort to turn it around. It had not been successful. We needed now to think through more carefully and all of us try to attempt to work together on these kinds of matters. I get the memorandum. I look at it. I, I called Jim either the same day or the next day for an appointment. I saw him either that same day or the next day. And I go in to see him with a memorandum in hand. And I, I, and I push the memorandum across the, the desk and I say, um, Jim, I, I've gotten a copy of this and uh, this authorizes torture. And he says, no, it doesn't. And I say, well, Jim, Jim, look at this a little more closely. You know, what, is, what does sensory deprivation mean? Is it, is it uh, uh, a soundproof room? Um, is it for an hour, a day? two weeks, three months, until the, the guy goes mad, is light-proof room. What does that mean? The same an hour, a day, a week, uh, a month, two months, madness, um, detainee-specific phobia techniques, um, rats, bats, snakes. Of course, it, of course it could lead to torture. This was um, unlawful, contrary to our values, contrary to military ethics. A, a disastrous decision from all these perspectives that needed to be stopped. So I don't mean to imply that any of this was a solo act on, on my part. Um, every military officer, every JAG officer that I discussed the issue with during my entire tenure at, 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 the, at, the, at the Pentagon felt exactly the same way.